Hello friends. My name is Tarshit Singh R. Parman. This is a video tutorial on how to calculate gamma ray shielding parameters using PYML BUF platform. This video tutorial is a part of Young Science Leadership 90 Days <coughs> program by Dr. K. S. Mann. Earlier we discussed how to use PY MLBUF platform. Now we will calculate the gamma ray shielding parameter for any element. Like we have here the number of layers, so we will put one layer, then submit. So here we have option elemental composition or compound composition. Let's for start with element ion. So we will select elemental composition, then submit. Now we want to calculate for some specific energy. So we will go with custom energy option. Now we will entering our energies. Here I have entered some energies. Then <coughs> this is the option for graph. So selecting yes. Then the density of iron is 7.87 for gram per centimeter cube. Symbol of iron Fe. Then biotomic density. So then put one. <coughs> now clicking submit. Here we have. So here we have some error. Please enter valid energy values. So we recorrect the values using this energies value and now we have entered all things so just clicking submit so the platform will calculate the shielding parameters and send mail to us So now I have extract results. So here we have our results. Here we have results for our desired energy. And here are the <coughs> gamma ray shielding parameters. Like this is Rayleigh scattering, then this is Compton scattering, then these are all attenuation coefficient then other gamma ray shielding parameters then LSC, SNC, HVL then we have Z of effective and effective then we have absorption, exposure and all so these all are the shielding parameters here are our customized energy then these are the calculation for parameters for energy absorption energy build up factor for energy absorption build up factor for k parameter These are our plots. These plots are for layer 1. For layer 1 we have 6 graphs. So this is for layer 1. Energy versus energy absorption build up factor 
then we have energy versus energy build up factor then we have k parameter versus thickness then we have 3d graph of thickness log of energy and log of energy absorption build up factor then we have another 3d graph this graph is partial attenuation parameters versus energy these are the com parameters of Compton scattering, photoelectric effect, air production, and mass attenuation coefficient. Now we have another parameter plots. There are five parameter plots like HVL versus energy then mass attenuation coefficient versus energy then Z effective Z equivalent versus energy then we have plots at optical thickness these are five plots these are the thickness so energy absorption will have factor versus energy then versus thickness then versus energy then k parameter versus source and detector distance so we can calculate 36 number of parameters using this online platform if you want to add more than one layer so we will type two layer then submit then element or compound let's go with compound submit then we have the we have to enter the information of two layers we can add number of layers as we want like I have entered five layers then submit then we have the option so we can select elemental then we have five different layers then we have option for specify formula for MLBF calculation so we can cal calculate any of from this formula So that's all for today. I want to acknowledge Dr. K S An and YSL team for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.